Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday, we're coming at you with 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball 8 box. Pick your team number 18. There you go, pick your team 18 on the 18th. Any famous, ba I'm terrible with uh, athlete numbers, like jersey numbers. Any famous players that are number 18? Famous baseball players, number 18. Is 18 a weird baseball number? I feel like maybe there just haven't been, haven't been any famous 18s. Is Johnny Damon an 18? All right. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Daryl Strawberry, Joseph is saying, was an 18. You like when Sean breaks optic hobby, he calls out every rated rookie to the person who hits it? Oh, he's got to stop that. <laughs> it makes the break too long. It's not efficient. Any other famous baseball 18s? What about 18 in any any sport? I think Peyton Manning's an 18, right? I think that's the only 18 I know. Randall Cobb is an 18. Kyle Cook, didn't see who you have. This was not a random team break, Kyle. Do you remember what team you bought? <laughs> If not, there's a receipt that you get, an order confirmation that you get. And I'll tell you the, the, the break, the break number, so on and so forth. All right, here's box number one. What is it? We got two auto, four autographs box? Yeah, four autographs a box. <laughs> Kyle, you have the, yeah, you're, <laughs> Kyle's laughing. He's like, I'm ridiculous. Yeah, it's not a Ram team break, friend. No, I'll tell you right now. You got the you bought the Braves and the Red Sox. We posted this today too, so it wasn't like you bought these teams last week and you forgot. Nice Brandon McKay. Thirty eight out of ninety nine. Rookie auto for the Rays. TJ on the board with a Brandon McKay. Could be a great two way player this year. There's Ramon Laureano die cut. And these ones kind of fool me because I think they're numbered, but they're actually not. There's a Luis Robert rookie card. Remember, all cards ship in this. So you'll get you'll get everything, ladies and gentlemen, including Luis Robert, up and coming prospects like Zach Veen, and Tyler Soderstrom. There's our first A's autograph. I think. Uh, Coppola, who has the A's, also had a little prop bet for us and was like, hey, Oakland A's autos, set the line over or under, set the line at three. There's one already. Spencer Torkelson right there. For the Tigers, there's your number one overall pick, Randall. All right. Well, Grizzle has the... Uh, um, owns the A's, so Grizzle will be able to keep track. There's Otani. Fernando Tatis Jr., monster deal that he signed. Keeps him locked in with San Diego for a long time. There's Juan Soto, crack, uh, Atomic, that is. Logan Webb. Coppola with the Giants. Bay Area teams. So that's three autographs plus the redemption underneath Shohei. So that'll make it four. There's a Heston Kirkstad. Nice. To 50. It's a great one for the Orioles. That 
That's going to be for Alex and the O's. All right. Best of 2020 autograph refractor parallel. You'll see the team name there too. C, Chicago, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Colorado, Cincinnati, Cincinnati. It's Luis Castillo. Hmm. I like they write the team names on there. That goes to Dennis and the Reds. Good news, Dennis. Not only do you get this nice Luis Castillo redemption, you also uh, get a free top loader out of them. All right, good luck, everybody. I think it was Oliver Soria who was saying earlier that, son, that at one shop in Vegas, they have the Dodgers win total at 104 and a half wins. Now, I'm a big Dodgers fan. I'm fairly optimistic about my team, but but it's it's hard to win a hundred games, especially with the way the Padres have retooled as well. Seems like a lot, but then again, I'm not very good with future plays, so it feels like a lot. Right, and if yeah, and if COVID continues to be a problem throughout the summer, I mean, I guess they're maybe banking on vaccines to be more widespread or something like that. But yeah, it's already a shortened season with 150 games, and who knows? I mean, if the worst case scenario happens, I mean, are they even getting to 100 games? There's Yamamoto for Miami, TJ with the Marlins. Starling Marte to 250. And we got Carter Keboom for Coppola and the Nats. Nice. Joey Bart. Atomic Justin Verlander, Dustin May, another Luis Robert, rookie card. It'd be weird to see Nolan Arenado in a Cardinals uniform. There's JT Real Muto. He busted his thumb, ladies and gentlemen. Resigned with the Phillies, Zach Loomis, and promptly busted his thumb. I think he's out for two, three weeks. I don't know which thumb it was. A catching thumb, maybe? Well, he's a righty, right? So, bro broke his thumb. And there's Nick Solak for the Rangers. That'll be for Patrick Davis. There's Tidus Aquino, Ronald Acuna Jr., and Bo Bichette. Some great show hair there. That'll be for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Capola and Bo Bichette.
Is everything uh, is everything with the big free agent name squared away? Bauer went to the Dodgers. JT Real Muto re-signed with Philly. I don't think there are any other big names. Has there been any big moves? Maybe some last-minute spring training trades? Everything's kind of squared. DJ LeMahieu re-signed with the Yankees, right? Maybe those were the biggest names in the offseason. Yeah, the big names are pretty much gone, right? Grizzle saying. So... Um, I'm, I'm glad to have some baseball back. Oh, there's still names like Taiwan Walker still out there. Maybe the one-year deal guys. And there's Jason Dominguez. Woo! We've got Cap Martin. Capucine Martin with the Jason Dominguez. Got the Yankees straight up. Wow, well, the camera can't even focus on it. It's too hot. Too lit for this camera. Nice. Right on card. That's actually a good auto. I don't know if I've ever seen his autograph before. Well, no, we have. It's a nice, I, I think I'm always surprised at, at how nice it is. There's Robert Hassel, big future star for the Padres. That's what San Diego's hoping. I, yeah, that's true. I guess uh, the ben in, there is the Benintendi trade. I guess Chris Bryant could still be on the move. That could be a big... There's Luis... Ca Why was he a redemption before? Cincinnati, Cincinnati. That goes to Dennis. I guess, did he sign half his cards and decided not to sign the other half? Oh, maybe he didn't sign parallels. Come on, Luis. Bobby Bradley, Bradley, that is, Atomic. Grizzle is thinking, what, Bryant will be a Met eventually? Yeah, the, they were, the Mets were looking at Justin Turner. There's Jesus Lazardo, another athletic for Coppola. It's Grizzle in the chat. Two out of ten, Jesus Lazardo. Nice low number on that one, too. But yeah, the Mets were looking at Justin Turner. I don't think the numbers worked out. It was Luis Roberts goes to Alex and the White Sox. So yeah, they may be looking to trade for, uh, for someone like Chris Bryant. Reed Detmers, Angels. Martin with that one. Capucine Martin. Hey, no worries, Grizzle. What are we at now? Two? We still have a lot of boxes left. There's Trent Grisham to 150 for the Friars. That's going to be for Capucine as well. And next box. Pat had the over. Would you have taken over three and a half as well? Well, no, yeah. You're, you're thinking Loriano Murphy will be next. Maybe a Chapman or two. A Sheldon Musi. Oh yeah, what Grizzle's hoping for is is uh, is Robert Possum. Nice. 
so in here are the final four boxes right here. Good luck, another redemption. And we got a Tim Anderson for the White Sox, Alex with the Southsiders. Come on, Lakers. Five of their last six. There's Shun Yamaguchi for the Blue Jays to Coppola. There's a Tatis die cut. And there's Nick Lofton, guy with the Royals, Kansas City on the board. Ooh. Well, there it is, Robert Pawson. It's exactly what Grizzle wanted. Sometimes it works out like that, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Dustin May Atomic. Yeah, no worries, Grizzle. Thanks for getting in. And your redemp. Best of 2020 autograph of San Diego, San Francisco. Robert Hassel, San Diego. Robert Hassel, Padres, nice. Capucin Martin, San Diego Padres. Robert Hassel, two strong prospects back to back. All right, halfway through this break, here's the second half, good luck. Robert Hassel, not a hassle at all. Wait, is that is that you? Base is loaded? Oh, did I get the name right? I, I would I went with Cap and then I was just like, let me let me just talk to uh, talk out that name. Good, I'm glad I did. Gotcha, that's wifey. All right, and you're Gary, right? I gotta keep track of these usernames and names. Right, the one that makes the good burgers, right. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Franchise favorites, on-card autograph, 18 out of 40, Cal Ripken Jr. for Alex Valasakos and the Baltimore Orioles. Nice. Ooh. That was unexpected. It's pretty sharp. He is definitely a fan franchise favorite. That's the cool looking card. Atomic Dustin May and a Jalen Davis for my rivals, the Giants, Capola. Um, who is my dog? Coppola has my Dodgers, too. That's a cool-looking Atomic. There's Cal again. Cool-looking Atomic. 
Refractor there. There's Mitch Keller. The Pirates are expecting a lot out of him this year, Aaron. Gaston with the Buckos. Here's your number one overall pick, Randall Ness. Another Torkelson. There's a franchise favorites, Atomic, Robert Hassel. And we got Casey Schmidt for the Giants. Coppola with the Gigantes. Yeah, I miss baseball too. I'm I'm happy that spring training is coming around. I don't know if the actually don't know if the Dodgers reported yet. Soon, I think. I know there's some pitchers and catchers been reporting. Everyone's reporting this week at some point. Oh, 2021 spring training FAQ. Dates to know. Dates no. Well, when are, when are pitchers and catchers reporting? Well, the first spring training game is going to be February 28th against the A's. Faces to know on the roster for the Dodgers. It's Trevor Bauer, of course, Garrett Clevenger, Tommy Canley, Corey Knebel, Alex Vasia, and Sheldon Nusi. There's some prospects to keep an eye on camp. That's right, Josiah Gray, the number 58 overall prospect in baseball, will get a lot of attention. Maybe make the 40 man roster. Hebert Ruiz could start getting into the action as the catcher. Cody Hosey is the Dodgers' number three prospect. Michael Bush, number four. Bobby Miller, number seven. Jacob Amaya at ten. DJ Peters. This is, the, this is a big year for Gavin Lux, ladies and gentlemen. Big year for Gavin Lux. Is he going to be a... Uh, I think... Here's my take on Gavin Lux for my Dodgers. I think he's going to, because I know we've been seeing a lot of his autographs and he's been pretty hyped up. And I, some people may have a, a big position on Gavin Lux autographs. This is going to be the year for him. Whether he kind of cements himself as the Dodgers starting second baseman becomes another, you know, another great developed prospect. I don't think he's going to be like. I think he's too good to be like a bust, right? There's Austin Hendrick for the Reds. That's a good one too, Dennis. So I think he'll still have a role on the team. You know, maybe he ends up, you know, being, you know, a rotational guy. But you don't want that. We want to be an all-star. Dodgers have had some struggles with that second base spot in spite of all the talent they've had over the years. Ooh, nice Luis Robert, 15 out of 150. Speaking of talent, White Sox, Alex, Chicago, Southsiders. Nice. There you go. But yeah, second base for the Dodgers has been a bit of a black hole for a little, little while. We got a cool whit Merrifield going to Guy and the Royals. Gilo, what's going on? Speaking of Kansas City, there's Gilo. Wait, was that Jason Dominguez Gold? Oh man, come on, Joe. Power producers, Jason Dominguez Gold, forty-two out of fifty. 
We like Jason Dominguez, Yankees. Capucine. Good eye, Grizzle. Good eye. Good eye. Yeah, we, that's what I was just talking about, G-Lo, that Gavin Lux, kind of a, sort of a, not, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say make or break sounds too dramatic. Um, but it's like, this year's the year, where, where is he going to be the starting second baseman for the Dodgers for, for years to come, or is he just going to be a role player? He's good enough to just be a role player, and that's fine for him personally. But for the hobby, we want it to be a starting second baseman for the Los Angeles Dodgers. There's Logan Allen for Jarrell and the Tribe. Yamamoto to 99. We've got Atomic Joey Bart. Supposed to be a big deal for the Giants. And Marlins, TJ, with that Yamamoto to 99. Base is loaded, saying, "Oh, the Yankees wa was the uh, was the wife's choice. Nice. Well, now she's hooked. A couple that breaks together stays together, ladies and gentlemen." Listen, we we want we want the 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 women to get involved. In the hobby and, and enjoy it. A lot, a lot of, a lot of collectors out there. We cater to everybody, you know. Get the, get the, get the wife involved. Get the whole family involved. Aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, maybe even some coworkers. The coworkers that you like. What I think of the Benintendi Royals trade? Yeah, I I just thought that it was a bit of a... I don't know, it seems sort of unnecessary. It was just a lateral move. I don't know if it really, if one person, one team actually won the trade or not. You know, maybe maybe they were just like, yeah, you know, Benintendi's not going to get the playing time that that he would get maybe in Kansas City. And we want we want to replenish our farm system, and get a couple of prospects back or whatever, whatever they move back. So for now, it, it feels just like a lateral move, like didn't really help or hurt too much. All right, there's Josh Stomont. Speaking of the Royals, it's for Guy. Justin Verlander to 150 for Houston. That'll be for Pat. Asa Lacey, hopefully a future star for the Royals. So what? So if Fernando Tatis Jr. made the money that he did, what do you think? What kind of deal does Juan Soto get? There's Dylan Dingler, Detroit, Randall Ness. And power producer Shohei Otani. Autograph, 95 out of 99. Who has the halos? Capucine with the halos. Man. Gary, you're going to have to have her choose the teams every break. It's a big year for him, too, to see um, if he can stay healthy. How, how are the Angels going to deploy him? Are... Is he, is he just better off being just a just a hitter or just a pitcher? What are they going to do? I always thought they should maybe have him be a closer so he can pretty much hit every day and be available to pitch almost every day. But I don't know. All right. And we got Jalen Davis right here. Tahiti, you're welcome.
Jalen Davis for the Giants. Hold up. There's Chris Bryant. Will he get traded? Ryan Wilson saying he hopes that Kyle Lewis pans out. There's Anthony Rendon for you guys, too, the 250. There's a refractor, too. I mean, he he looked pretty good. I feel like he was... I mean, he won Rookie of the Year. Was he? I mean, some people may argue he was low-key better than... Low-key better than uh, Luis Robert, who I think had a really hot month and a half in a pandemic-shortened season. But Kyle Lewis seemed a little more steady. And it'll be it'll be interesting to see Kyle Lewis throughout the throughout the whole season. Yeah, Gilo saying you bought a bunch of Otani stuff recently. So what do you think? What's your what's your take? I mean, you must you must believe that Otani will bounce back. We actually had someone in the shop earlier today who was also asking me and the and the crew, "Hey, what about Otani? You know, Otani prices have gone down a little bit. You know, he still has the international market, but a little bit of the shine has come off of Otani values, especially since his rookie year, which he had an excellent rookie year. But I don't think it'll take much for him to really to, to really bounce back again. So it'll be interesting to see. But the Angels have to figure out how to how to really get the best out of him. You're the best around. You're the best. All right, final box here. Pick your team 18 of 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball. I only saw one case of this in the back, so... I don't know. We'll try to get some more, obviously. Yeah, Gilo's thinking you think Otani makes a bit of a comeback, at least more than what his what is, uh, cards are worth at the moment. There's Max Meyer, one of the top picks for the Marlins, TJ. There you go. Yeah, the, thinking the pandemic shortened season was kind of messed him up. Coming off an injury, maybe he never got into the flow. All right, there you go, Tej. Is Nate Pearson to 150 for the Bluebirds? That's for Coppola as well. There's Otani again, and there's Logan Webb. Lots of giants in this one. This goes to Coppola in San Francisco. Wait, how many A's autos are we at? Pat thinks Otani needs to play just a position only, give up on the pitching. Yeah, maybe that, that might not be working out for him. Because you're losing, you lose two days of him in the lineup too if he pitches. Right, the day before the start and the day after the start. There's a Patrick Bailey. That's another giant for Coppola. Are we going to get the over on the A's? There's Jordan Alvarez and a Dustin May. Dustin May autograph. I don't know where he's going to fit in in the rotation this year. 104 out of 150. Coppola with the Dodgers. Nice grizzle. Grizzle bees. And there's the franchise favorites, Jordan Alvarez. Pat Colon with that one. Former Dodger. Atomic. And we have one more, or is that it? There's a Zach Veen purple. Nice color match there. Trent Grisham Atomic. And I think that's it. Tatis Jr. and Forrest Whitley. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for hanging. I appreciate it. 8-Box, pick your team 18. In the books. Uh, keep your eye out for more Bowman's Best Baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.